Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I was watching another film uh, called The Last Avatar. Uh, it's an Ascension film, too. And, uh, or related to that, re related to Ascension skills. And it's, 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 uh, it looks like it was maybe directed or produced by Jay Weidner, W-E-I-D-N-E-R. And it's been quite an interesting experience for me to, to watch this film over and over again. And uh, it, it, it's a cause of this video, actually. Uh, I do suggest um, purchasing or, or viewing these films. I think it's a wonderful idea to, to a, a good Ascension aid to see how other people are seeing this process and, and think about that. Very interesting. And so this, um, this film describes like a transformational experience that occurs to a young man, uh, one of the, um, what, what I would call a, um, an upgrade, an upgrade. Actually, it's an upgrade of understanding or awareness of the user man from the user manual of the soul field. You know that descends into our awareness field, so that we can make greater use of the soul field while in physical form. You know that's just my way of saying, it, right? So, but his ideation or visualization of what occurs during that um, during that process is what interests me in particular. Um, um, I hope to be, be able to convey this correctly. You see, here we are. We're in a realm of predator-prey relationships, a very deep, dark, dense realm of predator-prey relationships. Oh, some years ago, in 2011, I wrote a paper on that called the aggressor-victim paradigm, I think, or victim-aggressor paradigm, which means the same thing. And the V hyphen hyphen hyphen, D hyphen hyphen hyphen, mental filter is also, there's a lot of different ways of saying it. Um, but if you imagine that, that the premise of life on Earth uh, during the age of darkness is that one being must sacrifice its life in order for another being to stay alive, like on the savanna, you know, in in Africa, and uh, with the with the lions and the gazelles, right? Or you might also say that in the succession of generations, one generation must pass on to make way for the new generation. Or you could say, in, in terms of religions and Christianity. Uh, uh, there's a more transformational view of this. It has to do with Christ sacrificing his life in love through for the uh, uh, heightened awareness, Christ consciousness of all of the people that are willing to see his example. So Christ had a way of stating the aggressor victim or um, predator-prey relationship through the lens of love of the fifth dimension of Christed or Buddhic consciousness. And, and that like transformational vision that he had uh, was a way to uplift us all into an understanding that Predator prey, as real as it may seem in the third and the fourth dimensions, is not the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is that, that these visions of false visions of the way things are were created to teach our souls what the true vision is. The true vision to do with love and light and joy, you see. So that's the greatness of the teaching of Christ and the Buddha. Who taught more through peace, I think. The Buddha taught more peace despite the display of like uh, animal brutality or war and death and so forth. So now back to this, this, this very interesting movie here called The Last Avatar, filmed by Joy J. 
Jay Wiedner. I hope I pronounced it right. So the young person was was going through this 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 change up change up in the hologram. Yeah. And he visualized it as um, controllers. There were controllers in the world who like controlling the whole world. Uh, like mean nasty guys, right? Who wanted to control everything. And 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 they would like mind control people and get them to commit suicide, you know, all kinds of get people working as assassins for them and all, all this stuff. And uh, then, uh, so through hacking, the young person was going to, had this, first he had this experience of greater awareness, then he wanted to tell the world about it so that they could act on it if they wanted to, like fractal dispersal of the upgrade, right? And so, they hacked they hacked this I won't give you the great details so that you will watch the movie, but his experience during the time that he was transmitting this information was that there were like guerrilla people out there that were going to capture him and maybe kill him and like that. That there were actual physical people that were out there that were trying to stop him. And I will not tell you the end of the movie. <laughs> or the main part of the movie. There were all kinds of interesting things, themes going on in the movie. This is just one, like, tiny aspect. So, um, so what I have to say about that is that this is a frequent occurrence as upgrade occurs. We think that's, that there are people in the world who are out there trying to kill us or hurt us or subdue us or prevent us from from knowing these things and from learning these new things. Um, but in fact, what is happening is that the mental mind is throwing up a mental filter based on past learning, based on past insufficient understanding of the way things work that will hopefully, this is, a, this is a job of the mental mind, is to come up with hypotheses that suddenly become like true, you know, as if they were true, to explain something that's going on that may be totally new, right? So, so the upgrade is to an understanding we did not know about or have before, but are experiencing in higher dimensions right now. Down here in this in this predator prey dimension, it seems that we are being preyed upon because something new is happening. It it triggers those responses, you see. So the minute that we feel we know that there's solar events happening, we know that there's light coming in, something weird is going on because, for instance, the astral chatter is getting very intense, right? The thing to do is to not fall into these predator prey mental filters, but instead to have faith, to have hope, to trust and understand that what is happening is really a good thing. And in that way, when we get the, um, the upgrade, then we'll be immediately able to place our awareness in the higher dimension or timeline that's being downloaded. If we don't, what will happen is we'll get the download, but we won't be aware of it. We'll still be running through like the the paranoia, you know, of the of the of the third and fourth dimensions. We'll we'll still be going through that in our minds, and we won't quite grasp the optimum timeline and dimension at that time. Not for a little bit farther on. So. So the thing to do is to not get stuck in the physicality of it, the, 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 the very real physical notion that there are, there are threats and danger down here, right? But what is happening is for the good, it's for the highest, it's for the best. And any kind of mental scenario such as like guerrilla, you know, warriors coming in or paratroopers or like, you know, how does it go, the, the, the death-bearing drones? <laughs> Uh, until recently, Hollywood was featuring this stuff all the time. <laughs> now, though, there are great changes taking place. For instance, on YouTube, there are these, these really cool movies put out by a guy called Bill H. Um, 
and there are more coming out every day, it seems. Then there's the Gaia Channel on, on, uh, that cr has all kinds of terrific movies. Then I just found out today there's, a, there's another new um, website called F-E-E-L-N, Feelin', and it features um, movies based on love. Yeah, really cool movies based on love. So all of these uh, represent the new paradigm that's coming in. The one that's heralded by all kinds of uh, scary movies in the mind, right? Releasing of soul wounding from many other incarnations. And so, and so it seems real and suddenly it's gone, right? So what they say, keep your eye on the bouncy ball. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to the peripheral vision right now as the new light's coming in very intensely. And all is well, all is just as it should be. All is love and light and joy for sure.